Hello and welcome back. If you're first time joining me, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee. Uh, so lately, uh, my cat's been uh, very active on my channel. So her name is Belle and she is it's called Rack, uh, Rack Muffin. So we had her for a couple years now and she's, she's wonderful. She's a wonderful part of family. I know some people wonder about, I mean, if you see my video, she's walking around behind the scenes. Uh, there she is. She's really, really friendly. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to show you guys how I make cortado in the morning. So since I got the new cup from Non Neutral, so 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 cortado is like pretty much standard recipe is one part espresso, one part milk. So kind of a one to one ratio. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey Kevin, and. But meantime, I know <clears throat> I'm gonna shout out to Yashin. I think that's his name. Uh, he asked me about how uh, how does uh, the retain heat on not neutral cups. So you know what? That is a great question. So this morning I'm going to boil some water. Okay. I got the water heating up right now, and then I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna do the kind of like test. It's not exactly a scientific test, but I'm gonna find out how well uh, keep the the heat, the the retained heat. So let's try that first. But meantime, I'm gonna prepare my coffee. Uh, so this morning I'm gonna be using, you know what, uh, Good Brothers coffee. So this is from Mexico, and I'm I'm gonna be using my niche grinder. The water is almost ready. So I have two cups here. Uh, here we go. I got my small latte cup from Non Neutral, and so this is cappuccino uh, cup. So that's a vero. So this is boiling hot water. So it was room temperature cups. So you know what? I have my uh, heat, not the heat gun, but you can take the temperature on my cup here. This is not a, here we go. So right now the glass temperature is at about 86 degree. So this one, actually it's, it's gonna be a lot hotter. It's gonna be 150 because you have to use a handle for this, obviously. So again, the temperature on that one is one, pretty much around 150, actually 140, 150. So 150 for the actual cup itself, but handle is obviously, you're not gonna uh, feel any heat there. So very glass, uh, very comfortable to hold it because the temperature is only about about 85, 86, 86 degree on the bottom because I mean you're usually hold the bottom anyway not on the top. Top is a little hot, little hot so it's not too bad but so this one obviously is really hot on the cup but whenever you hold the uh, handle you'll be just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Measure the temperature right now. Water temp is at 150, 158, 160, 158 for this one. I'm gonna write it down. And then for the small latte cup, it should be the same. Actually, you know what, this one, the water temperature at 170, 168. The same water, but hold on. 158, uh, 160, there we go. So it's about eight degree difference there, so 160. So my plan is, uh, 
after I finish my making my cortado and see what's the temperature difference is. I'm just gonna set to the side. Let's make some cortado here. Okay, so let's see. So with the niche grinder, again, I like to use 17 gram. I know you can use, most people like to use 18, but personally I like 17. I know it is a little tedious, but you know what, it's well worth it in the end. So with a niche grinder, you want to shake it to the end. Just make sure you're going to get the, all the beans out. Or you can use brush as well. So we got 17 gram in. We got 16.93 gram out. So it's about 0.07. So it's pretty much zero retention. Okay, so before I'm going to make my filter basket I'm just gonna flush my portal filter okay so since this is 58 millimeter I have to use my dosing funnel for this I mean hopefully someone's going to make 54 millimeter in stainless steel would be great. I know there's plenty of uh, 3D prints out there, but not the same. And I got my San Anthony distribu distribution tool here. Uh, there are temp. So I'm looking for, again, the 30, uh, 17 gram in like 34 gram out uh, within between 25 and 30 seconds. I got my scale ready. Okay, here we go, guys. I got my timer. Okay. So right now they are doing the pre-infusion process and go up to nine bar there. It's a bit fast. So it's about 18 seconds. So I mean, I like them a little slower, but since we, we are making the milk-based drink anyway, so I think I'm okay with this. Because you want to be, you know, get a better shot, but I'm not gonna make, uh, I'm not gonna make another shot here. Okay. So this is my knockbox. There you go, come up right up. Okay, but meantime, I'm going to get my milk ready. Uh, I'm, uh, let's, I'm going to be using whole milk. The one thing I don't like about Brista Express is the steam power. Once, here we go. I like to introduce about between five to 10 seconds air first. And then I'm gonna sm uh, smurge the uh, steam one to heat up the milk. So, 
You know, I've been using this machine for going on for two years now. I'm still having a hard time getting the milk right. So. Usually take about 60 seconds. By the way, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. And it's pretty overcast in Tucson. And let's see, it's about 70 degree right now. I hope summer's over here. Okay, so, so milk, so you can't tell when milk is ready. You cannot touch it anymore. It's too hot. And then you want to make sure you get a wet paper towel. Wipe it clean and flush. So lately what I've been doing, I mean you guys see me with another uh, milk picture. Just like transfer. Kind of help all the bubble out. Okay, and then I'm going to swirl a little bit. Let's do some little bit of latte art here this morning. Okay, break out, uh, break the crime up. Here we go. Again, it's like one, so you have to go really slow like this man not the best but that'll work <clears throat> but the real question is how is taste okay hold on I need some spoon i mean overall milk you know textures it looks pretty good as you can see from there but I'm just gonna one mix. Cheers, guys. They are really good. I mean, if you guys like really strong coffee flavor with touch up milk, I mean, this is it, okay? And personally, I like to use, <clears throat> since I love caramel, just like one squirt. So this is kind of like my after breakfast, kind of like coffee in the morning, just like this. And then, perfect, perfect. So this is how I make cortado. But again, I mean, if you want to be really nitpicky, so you want to get a perfect shot, okay? So you're gonna get a perfect shot with the right time. But earlier my shot was a little fast, it's about 18 seconds, so I prefer around 25 seconds, between 25 and 30, so which means I have to adjust my grinder size as well. And then, again, comes to milk, that's, that's another story. And I've been working at it for a couple years, and some days I got a really nice, beautiful texture of milk, and other days, it doesn't matter what I did, I did the exact same and process but still somewhat milky so sometimes you overcook it and so that's the one downside of having Brista Express because it's about consistency and sometimes you get a really good consistency like shot after shot some days I mean it's not quite however still this is great machine to have okay so meantime so let's go back to our earlier experiment. So, in the beginning, here we go. So this velcro was 160. We went measure. So we've been. It's it's been about 15 minutes now. 10 uh 10 15 minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to use my thermostat. So this one is a. Uh, hold on, 125. So now he's at 125. And this one, 120, 130. Okay. 
So pretty much with the very glass, so after 15 minutes, so water temperature is uh, start with 160 and 125. So I mean, still really hot. Okay, I mean, it's, it's really good. But with our latte cup here, we start with 168 for some reason. Still nice and warm after 15 minutes. Is at 130. Yep, much hotter than Vera cup. So, so again, I mean, this cups retain heat pretty well. So I think, again, I've been using uh, not neutral cups for years and I'm really happy with it. Uh, by the way, I, I do have their coupon code underneath as well. So make sure to check it out too. They're going to give us 15% off. What else? So what I'm going to do is the next time, okay, I think upcoming videos, I'm going to compare not neutral cups and let's see, I have some fella cups. I have uh, like a bottom cups. I have about four or five different kind of cups. I'm going to find out which one uh, retains heat better. So, so far, non-neutral cups are wonderful. And what else? Again, the Coltado is really easy to make, kind of a one-to-one -one ratio, but just make sure get the espresso right and uh, just make right and you should be good. Don't, don't worry about the latte art, okay? Because Face it, you know, it doesn't matter how much I'm going to practice every day. It's going to be, I'm not going to be really good at it, except the young Kevin out there. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And see you guys next time.